Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Friday. That means we've got three new Summer of Chell Master Set players. We are going to go over all of them. We're also going to talk a little bit about build and why some of the bigger players are more impactful at 99 at the end stage of the game and why I hope that that changes in the future. And we're also going to talk a little bit about Master Set player choices. So let's get into it. All right, first up, we've got another huge defenseman to add to the mix. The 99 overall, six foot four, Darnell nurse 220 he is 99 everything across the board and he comes with gold 1t silver bouncer truculence ice pack in reverse and shut down obviously this is a phenomenal card and again i need to mention that at 99, all of these cards are good. Again, that goes without saying. I think a lot of people think that because I say that, you know, a, a bigger card is better doesn't mean the smaller card isn't as good. And again, we're going to talk about builds in just a little. But this Darnell Nurse card specifically uh, has all of the premier abilities you want in the defenseman. Also left-handed. So a lot of the more popular left-handed defensemen that have come out already, Victor Hedman, Zidane Ochara, if you have Coburn still, it's going to be tough to replace because Darnell Nurse, in my opinion, won't pass Zidane Ochara and he won't pass Hedman, in my opinion, in the rankings. I know a lot of people are kind of polarizing on Shara. Either you love him or you hate him, but I don't really think he passes that. So nonetheless, this is a card. If you don't have any of those guys, or even if you only have one of them, phenomenal card here. Six foot four, 220, 99, everything, and some of the best abilities, especially gold 1T among left-handed defensemen. It just seems to go in a little bit more than righties this year with that 1T ability activated. Next, we've got the 99, Roman Cervenka from the Calgary Flames. Now, I'm pretty sure he's played less than 40 uh, NA pro NHL games. However, he has had an astounding international career and a season specifically uh, from Czechia, the 99 Roman Cervenka. This one comes with gold wheels, elite edges, spinorama, born leader, tape to tape, and close, close quarters. I want to talk a little bit about tape to tape because I think it's something that I overlook. And again, guys, when you guys are, you know, you're leaving your comments, I definitely take your feedback into account. And I think that there's something that over the course of this year because of the changes to passing that I've kind of overlooked and tape to tape kind of addresses it. So last year, the auto sauce when and what I'm referring to is when you when you pass the puck and there's a stick in the lane, um, if your passing was over 80, it would auto sauce the puck, which led to huge issues because intercepting the puck last year was almost impossible because the intercept pass model was just turned off for 21, which is why we had that cross crease met up even worse than we've ever had it. Uh, but in 22, it's back on and tape to tape, in my opinion, I'm someone who loves loves to use the manual sauce. And if you don't know how to do that, it's by holding down R1. You can cook it a little bit longer by holding it down longer, but it has zero assist on it, meaning that you've really got to thread the needle, but it's something that I use um, all of the time. But if you're not used to you know, using manual sauce, tape to tape can really help you out. So I do think that there are certain players that would take advantage of tape to tape, but if you are someone that can use the manual sauce effectively, I just don't think the benefits really outweigh the positives of activating it. That being said, close quarters, I think, does uh the reason being is that it will actually make your player shoot faster and harder out of a bad animation above the face-off dot so what i mean is if you watch the replay on some of your close quarters the puck will be like on its side like it's like a knuckle puck and your player will make an awkward like stick animation and shot immediately that's close quarters and that's why i think it's one of the better ones born leader at this stage of the game not really that important spinorama there's been no evidence of a card that has 99 deking and puck control really benefiting from spin Spinorama. I think that if you've got 99 in those uh, in those stats, it really doesn't improve it. Elite Edges, I find does work quite well, but usually for bigger players. And then Wheels. Wheels does have a, a very good use, but only on the first line or second line at most. So if Cervenka is not going to make that, then it's obviously not going to be as valuable to you. For anyone that doesn't know, if you're starting the game late, what Wheels does is it removes the debuff when you have the puck. When you are carrying the puck, you have a 3% speed debuff um, with the puck. So obviously if you're at 90 99. you're not a true 99 with the puck with wheels on you're a true 99 and you can just blow by everyone some players seem to benefit more than others like Connor mcdavid and then we've got the 99 blake wheeler who every year is one of the best hut cards this year obviously he's getting older and he just didn't have a very good season so he didn't receive a ton of great cards that he normally does throughout the year six foot five 225 i talk about it all the time size at the end game does matter because when you're trying to differentiate between the 99 size is really the only 
different and other now zone abilities. Uh, before we go into that, I do want to bring this up because I see it in my comments all the time about why bigger players are more important and why smaller skaters, you know, just kind of fall by the wayside as the game goes further. And here is why. I did a video about two, three months ago about custom skating builds. So if you go and look in the offline roster, which is what EA used for, you know, its base card, only four players actually have a custom stride. Outside of that, every player moves the same. Now, obviously, there are some differences. There are some cards that just don't work. I mean, Ryan Kessler's team builder, Yarmir Yager, the 91. Something was inherently wrong with those cards. So every card does have a little bit of a different feel, but there really is not much different. And that's EA's problem. I wish there was. In MLB, every player has their own custom swing. And it's, you know, all swings are equal, except that the stance and actual swing matters because some are faster, some are slower. Uh, and that's why you really see some cards that are super effective for some and really not, in fact, effective at all for others. That's why. In NHL, we just don't have any custom strides. We don't have any custom skaters, which I hate. I wish that they had some way to differentiate these my, um, these these players more. So the, the issue why someone who's bigger at 6'5", 225, they can be bumped off the puck by smaller players unless they have truculence, which again is why truculence is such an important ability. So gold tape to tape, we just talked about it. I think for, you know, the players outside of Division 1 or people that don't use uh, the manual saucer pass tape to tape could have some value. Uh, unstoppable force, again, I think it's really important uh, because everyone's got these big, gigantic defensemen. Unstoppable force will have you hold on to the puck a little bit better. Third eye, not really impactful at all. Uh, elite edges on a bigger player. I love it on, I, I love it on some of the players that I've got elite edges and that's going left and right behind the net. You'll notice that more than anything. Um, so make sure that, uh, that you're using that. I, I love that. Or if you're someone that speeds down the wing and you make the cut into the middle, Elite Edges makes you just absolutely make weak cuts. Uh, no contest. I think this is important as well. It's only one ability point, but what it gives you is when you're tied up in front of the net, it basically disengages. Born Leader, again, I don't think it's that important because everyone's 99. But, but the 99 Blake Wheeler, incredible card. So we'll talk a little bit about free agency as it's going along. I did a day one free agency recap johnny goudreau signing with the columbus blue jackets out of nowhere and reports today that he wanted to sign with philadelphia which was his hometown like that's his that's his childhood team and he's from south jersey which again i'm not from jersey but apparently is very close to philly um they didn't reach out to him flyers fans uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below i know i've been hard on chuck fletcher in the past but good look they didn't even reach out to him he wanted to sign there they didn't. So uh, then we've got Arturi Lekkinen with the Avalanche. Unbelievable cup runs. He is a, he is like a, uh, you know, a lesser Justin Williams. He's just having big moment goals in the playoffs and turning it into a career. Uh, then we've got Andre Burakovsky goes to Seattle Kraken. Perfect kind of player to go to the Kraken. I actually kind of think he was available in the expansion draft. Maybe I'm wrong. And they didn't take him. I was kind of surprised by that. But he just seems like a player that, again, not a huge cap hit, a good complimentary player, but he's going to get first line minutes probably in Seattle. I think it's a good I think it's a good fit. Mason Marchman gets four milli in Detroit. That's a little expensive. I kind of wanted him on the Sharks for what he brings, but uh, if Delorier got a four-year deal, then Marchman definitely deserves it. Ben Sherrod, I mentioned that on my recap show. I think that's a, one of the contracts I think Detroit will regret. Uh, and then Charlie Lindgren signs as well. Uh, Staylock, some minor ones, so uh, just recapping that, but let me know what you guys think of the new Master Set players. I will do a ranking of the six that are out of tier list, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.